Hello, and welcome to the WJCC High School Course Overview for our elective courses. The following courses will be discussed in this overview, Environmental Science, Oceanography, Field Biology, and Anatomy and Physiology. Environmental Science is an introductory science course that is intended to continue the student investigations that began in grades K through 8. Students will focus on scientific inquiry, the physical world, the living environment, resource conservation, humans impact on the environment, and legal and civic responsibility. Instruction will guide students through data collection and analysis with laboratory experiences, field work, and connections to local environmental community organizations. This course is available for our rising ninth graders. One emphasis of this course is that it will focus on content relevant to earth science and biology. Oceanography is a survey course that introduces students to the four broad disciplines of marine science, chemical, physical, geological, and biological oceanography. Building on knowledge gained in Earth Science 1, students will investigate tectonic processes and their role in shaping the ocean basins. Students will investigate the physical and chemical properties of the oceans and their interplay with the atmosphere as well as their impact on coastal features and marine life. Emphasis will be placed on the Chesapeake Bay and its tributaries. Prerequisites for oceanography include earth science and biology. Anatomy and physiology introduces students to the structures and functions of the human body. The course focuses on each body system and the medical terminology associated with each system. This objective will be met through extensive laboratory investigations, including dissection of a representative mammal. These studies will provide an understanding of the interdependence of human body systems and provide a solid base for further studies and or healthcare related career choices. It is recommended that students have a minimum grade of C in previous science courses and have taken chemistry. The prerequisite for anatomy and physiology is biology. Hello and welcome to Anatomy and Physiology. My name is Isabel Johnson and I am the Anatomy and Physiology teacher at Warhill. We're going to do some labs within this course. It's a major component in anatomy and physiology, and they have to be taken quite seriously. The labs may take several days, such as those when we're looking at tissue types, or some are self-guided, and some are done in a class period. Uh, you can expect detailed and comprehensive studies of human anatomy through dissection of sheep organs, which is our representative mammal. We will be dissecting a heart, an eye, a kidney, and a brain. There will also be virtual labs which are used as well. The diagram on the right happens to be a kidney. What makes anatomy my favorite course to teach? Well, I think it has to do with all the hands-on activities that we do. It is a college-level course, getting you ready to go on well to a career in the medical field. But it's a low-stress course in the fact that we have a lot of time to do things to get a good feel of the subject. So we're going to be talking about muscles and how they relate and make your body function, which is what you see on the left. And of course, we're going to be doing some detailed studies of skeletons as well in the 206 bones. We do labs. We're using a microscope, so you'll get a lot of help with that. And uh, one of the most popular labs is the blood typing lab. So we get to check out what happens when different blood types are mixed. We also do some fingerprinting techniques. These are just a few of the things that we do in our class. How can taking this class benefit you? Well, it's going to help you gain an edge in college prep. Everyone who takes these courses are going into a college field of some sort. So it's a good prep area getting you prepared for that rigorous studying. It sharpens your analytical problem solving techniques. It's developing the study habits necessary for tackling rigorous coursework in college. It will be a value for those who plan to pursue careers in 
human or veterinary medicine. Nursing is quite popular, any healthcare profession, science education, and very popular these days is the biomedical technology STEM careers. So I hope that you will join us and I'll see you in one of my classes next year. Thank you. Field biology addresses the effect of the seasons on the natural world and teaches students about the many components of natural ecosystems, utilizing field techniques to monitor and assess their health and status. Plant and animal identification are emphasized as well as chemical, physical, and biological tests of the environments. Students experience field work on a regular basis, going outside as often as the weather allows and the topic demands. Research projects involving data collection and analysis of results are a component of this course, thus requiring a competency in math. It is recommended that students have a minimum grade of C in previous science courses, a love of the outdoors, and a willingness to go outside during any season. Field biology has a prerequisite of biology and earth science or chemistry. Hey everyone, I'm Miss Elton and I teach field biology at Jamestown High School. The best thing about field biology is the fact that you get to apply your learning in the classroom out in the field. You get to explore local ecosystems like forests and ponds and wetlands and learn how to identify all sorts of different plants and animals that live in Williamsburg. So I hope to see you in field biology. This chart shows our high school science course offerings. When thinking about the high school science courses you would like to take, you should have a conversation with your family members and the local school counselors. Notice environmental science is available for rising ninth graders. This course builds content and knowledge that will help you in later courses, such as earth science and biology. Other elective courses do have prerequisites. You will want to pay attention to those prerequisites as you plan your high school science course path. We look forward to seeing you in our elective science courses. Please contact your high school for more information.